a little quick video on doing the radio check, the importance of doing the radio check, and then some troubleshooting if the radio check isn't successful in the first attempt. Uh, so here on our uh, checklist here, we do have the radio check as uh, one of our items there for on the frequency, local uh, frequency of 122.85 on the Collingwood. Uh, so after your engines start and you're ready to do your radio check, we want to make sure a couple things before we attempt our radio check. So we want to make sure, first of all, that we are on 122.85 and that we are talking to and listening to on the COM1. It'll be a green color when it is um, properly selected. Uh, when you do your uh, radio check, you're going to push and talk on your um, radio. Uh, make sure that your headset is also on and the noise cancellation is on and your volume is turned up. The other thing to check here is that the radio volume is also turned up on the proper comp. So 45% should, I should hear everybody on that volume. Press, uh, you're gonna press the push the talk button, wait a half second before you start broadcasting and then speak loud and clear. Collingwood Unicom, Juliet Oscar Juliet request radio check. Wait a second, uh, Unicom could be busy with another conversation or uh, currently tied up. It might take a, a couple seconds for them to come on the radio and confirm your five by five. Uh, if they don't respond, which they commonly do, um, you can also ask Genesis Base. So if failed on uh, Unicom, call up Genesis Base, Juliet, ask Juliet requesting radio check. And then if Genesis Base also uh, fails to give you a radio check, you could also ask uh, any uh, traffic that you know in the, uh, on the frequency or just general calling with traffic, Julia asks you to do that, request a radio check. So then if you're still not getting a five by five from somebody, uh, you wanna make sure a couple things uh, that are done properly here. First of all, again, make sure you're on the proper frequency Make sure the volume is turned at an appropriate level. Make sure your headset's at appropriate level. Also make sure your headset's plugged into proper jacks. If you're not plugged into the top jacks there, the uh, pilot push to talk will not broadcast your voice. Uh, when that's all said and done and uh, you not still have a radio check, it is still very important for your safety and the safety of others to make sure that your radio is op operating. So maybe just give a quick uh, phone call to dispatch and ask them to uh, get on the frequency and uh, get a radio check before you continue. Uh, one more do we, we want to cover on this video is just a little tutorial about the, uh, the, the radio in itself here. So looking at your uh, volume control for your headset, when the light is on volume here, the small knob will turn your headset up and down. The large knob turns the co-pilot and passenger's headsets up and down. If this manual squelch is selected, that means that you can now press the volume and go over to the squelch mode and turn your squelch volume up and down. What you got to think about is that if the higher the squelch volume, the louder the communication needs to be in order to open up the mic. Okay, I hope that uh, helps uh, clear up everything. Uh, be safe out there and have a great day.